like for first year and all, uh, hostel warden used to come for checking. She shout something, but we enjoy it <laughs> because we don't understand anything. Hi guys, and today we have a very special guest, Niranjani Sairam, a third year MBBS student from North Caucasian State Medical Academy, Russia. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, hi, hello, fam. So I'm your uh, I'm Niranjani Sairam and I'm studying MBBS in Russia and also guiding students via YouTube. So thank you so much for uh, making me be here. Thank you. And now we will have a conversation about the details of your college, that's North Caucasian State Medical Academy and its city, that's Cherkess. So let's begin. Firstly, like why did you choose studying in this college out of the many medical universities in Russia? So basically my concern was not about uh, joining in this country or this uh, that country. So I wanted to join MBBS somewhere. So uh, the thing was like I tried for European countries and then later I was not able to go there because of the living cost and all those stuff. So I go went through consultancies and uh, what they do is like if they are getting some uh, kind of lot of profit from some universities, uh, if it is well developed or not even well developed, what they do is like they just put on to it. So uh, the quality of the education in my university is really good. I don't uh, complain on it, but it is not well developed for now. But they are keeping on uh, concern about that and uh, they are developing. Uh, but the thing is like consultancy get a lot of profit over that because uh, the management is uh, not very strong about them so that they uh, the consultancy use of it. So that's a kind of problem, but everything is good. Okay, and secondly, like, is the city safe for the students? Like, what about the security of the students in Russia? Yeah, so while we're talking about the security, there is uh, nothing to complain and uh, place everywhere, it is really good. But the general advice could be, don't give any space for anyone to get into your personal space so that you might lose your security and uh, your safety. So that's the advice because we are going uh, as an uh, independent student, you have to be independent. So while you are getting dependent on someone, like problems arise and the country and people over there are really safe. Okay, that's that's like good to hear. And what do you have to say about the advantages as well as the disadvantages of staying in Cherkis? Uh, advantage uh, is like everything is accessible and uh, my, my city is like uh, very small ones. So if I want to go to some mall, uh, there will be three to four malls, but the hangout spots are very less. Uh, because this is the age for having fun, uh, going for tour and all. But uh, the hangout spot is very less. Um, but the accessibility is really good. If I want to buy something, then just uh, two two kilometers somewhere here. Even opposite of my hostel, we have a st uh, store. And our university is only walkable distance. And hospital is also this side walkable distance. So everything is near. So basically all your necessities are already covered. So basic necessities are there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess it's not a big thing of concern and what is the main language which is used by the population in the city? Uh, obviously, it is going to be Russian language. Many people used to be like uh, very afraid of it but uh, later on you, you start enjoying the language and then you start speaking it. It, it is hard but if you enjoy and started interacting with people, only if you interact with people you can get a uh, lot of things about language. And uh, it is really good to learn some new language. It's like a, a pressure relief something like that everyone speaks only in russian language and while you are stepping out of your uh, hostel or something even inside your hostel if you want to talk to your warden you don't know anything like for first year and all uh, hostel warden used to come for checking she shout something but we enjoy it <laughs> because we don't understand anything that's that's really great you know that's someone's okay. shouting and you and you don't care about it because you don't understand yeah <laughs> Okay, and how's the climate there? Like, it's easy for an Indian student to go there and adjust? It is adjustable for the Indian student, but the thing is like, uh, if, uh, like, how to say, uh, if we are new to the place, like, while I went and arrived, it was like some 2 p.m. in my city. Uh, so, it, I went around uh, December 5. So, December 5 was the day I landed over there. And it was like, next day, it was very heavy snow. The previous day, it was not that much heavy. But also, uh, just I was wearing a normal jerkin, which we can get over here in India. So, while I was going like that, I couldn't hold any things uh, just from out of the um, airport to taxi. That place, I couldn't grip anything. My uh, fingers were like almost like blue in color and I, I can't do anything. 
So then uh, the senior who came to pick me, pick me up, he took everything, every baggage and he went off. So it is like in starting it is hard. But later on when you have all your jackets, jackets, heavy jackets, gloves, all the boots and all, it will be easy. But the bad thing about the cli climate is like sometimes if you have a lot of snow, uh, then for the second or third day it will be very hard. We, if you want to walk on the streets, you simply fall everywhere. You keep on falling because it's like very slippery over there. Uh, the road will be like a glass. So I, <laughs> it happens with every student. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, it, it's actually like a matter of time when you get adjusted to such a cold country. Yeah. Okay, so how's the food and is it easy to adjust for an Indian student? Food, uh, so food is like uh, if you want, like you can't eat every day. The Russian food you can't eat every day because it's very plain. It's not that much spicy as well. Uh, they have too much spice as well, nothing spicy. But you can have chicken and potatoes all the day uh, with the... Uh, kind of chapati so that is their main main meal and uh, the everything is very different uh, it's not like other country like we eat pizza burger and all over here but it's not like that uh, it is completely different and uh, it's healthy but you can't manage like while i was going there uh, i thought that there would be mess because i don't know to cook while i was going there but uh, just because of that i didn't take anything so uh, here then later on i learned all cooking stuffs and all those stuff because i couldn't manage up with mess also because um, but the mess can be manageable by uh, north indian students because uh, it was chapatis <laughs> so all day roti there was a baba from north india uh, i went and told him that mutsena yoga <laughs> mutsena yoga baba ji <laughs> sorry then he told, okay, fine, you can go self-cooking. Then the friends all together started cooking. Okay. And like, uh, what is the cost? Like, how much is the cost of living when compared to other cities? Cost of living as compared to other cities, like mine is very less. Like, I've been traveling to a lot of countries like Moscow and also Valgograd. I went there. So it is a very uh, topmost country in uh, Russia, I can say. So mine is kind of village. If I want to, if I don't have any uh, habits like drinking or something like that, or drinking, smoking, if I am I'm like that, and uh, it is like uh, only 2,000 to 3,000. So if the people who are having, if I want to talk about boys, it's like uh, maximum they, uh, they spend uh, 6,000, whereas I spend 2,000. <laughs> so it's like that. Like why do the boys spend 4,000 rupees more? <laughs> because... Uh, they have uh, lots of freedom over there because uh, they they got wings once they go out of the country. Okay, okay. And okay, get it. <laughs> they drink a lot. Uh, they drink a lot. Okay, it's okay. That's okay. But that was generalizing. Too much of generalizing. And moving on, like, uh, how many Indian students are there? Indian students. There are a lot of Indian students. Like, uh, if I want to say in my university, it's like only 200 uh, Indian students, uh, 200 to 400 Indian students. If I want to say about Balgograd, one day Tamil students, there are 400 Tamil students. So it was, what? <laughs> Seriously, it was like that because that's a very huge and uh, it's there for long years, right? So, there are a lot of Indian students. Like, usually people feel more comfortable with more Indian students and classmates from their country. So that's why I asked this question. And. Like what are the approvals and ratings? Like is it uh, approved by NCI and who listed? Like what is the level of accreditation? Yeah, so uh, from the beginning it was uh, listed in uh, WHO but uh, the thing is like in MCI uh, recently, thank God, uh, I have to say thank God, correctly uh, our university was uh, removed by MCI and then there was a, within two months there came uh, something, uh, announcement that uh, MCI listed university is not minded anymore. For foreign medical university i was like thank god <laughs> so nowadays uh, people don't check for mci uh, mci listed okay okay so that's great and uh, what is the course curriculum in your college like uh, i want to know that how does the like russian education system differs from the indian medical education system okay so wherever we are going people used to say that uh, you are studying in russia and you don't have much of portion they don't understand everyone is studying mbbs everyone is going to write the same exam over there uh, they don't even understand anything the, the simple difference is like uh, and also people think that the usage of cadaver is almost like uh, 
uh, clinical exposure it is very different right usage of cadaver is for studying purpose it is it is not a clinical ones a uh, clinical way of studying so we study in a uh, systematic way it is in an integrated way so we feel like we want to study um, in different way if i want to study uh, about muscles then i just want to know what are the muscles i don't want to dissect and uh, that is that is different right so yeah people here you will be studying regional wise so that uh, you it will be very good for dissection and all those stuff okay and like what do you have to say about the teachers there teachers in russia do they use english for teaching like how is it okay so uh, while we want to talk about teachers so teachers are really friendly and uh, they are very beautiful <laughs> so just to impress them even i go i attend every classes just to impress them in some of the classes very boring subjects uh, it happens so it is a kind of good thing and uh, very kind people they are very kind and they need a lot of respect because uh, the teachers over there are very young so if uh, if a guy is commenting from the back or guy or girl if they are using some mobile or commenting they get really angry and they keep atrabotka so that uh, that is actually bad uh, but we enjoy all these things so teaching method is really good and teachers are really good they are very friendly Uh, but uh, as they are young, they don't want uh, their uh, respect to be fallen off in front of st- students. So it happens often. The mode of communication is English. Okay. Yeah, they know English. Um, but they some some teachers used to struggle in English. Okay. And how is the hostel life like? Any advantages over the other hostels? How many people share a room? Uh, like everything. Could you give a brief idea about it? Yeah. So hostel life is always crazy, and you have uh, first at beginning it will be really crazy, and then you get matured. You know what to do. Um, so that that was my hostel life, and uh, we used to share like there will be a common door, and then uh, there will be three members or two members. Three members can share a room, or else two members can share a room. So it is not based on any amount or something like that. It's just your uh, luck, luck of sharing rooms. and people also they won't uh, suggest you have to be with them you know like we just randomly choose the room so it happens like that and facilities uh, one thing i don't like about uh, russia uh, is they have a common shower room uh, which was very weird for me uh, while i entered there because uh, only for toilets we use nearby otherwise we have to go down and uh, we have to shower in common room uh, it is so weird it is so weird but now okay fine so what we are going to do so it like that everything else is good we have uh, laundry washing and all others are good that's great and like how accessible is your college from your hostel it's just 2 km so it is really accessible uh, if i want to walk i can walk if it is very cold outside and then i can book a cab it's just uh, 70 to 90 rubles and how are the seniors like is there any kind of ragging scene in your campus or something yeah while we are here we used to say that you are north indian you are south indian in south indian itself uh, you are telugu you are malayali <laughs> while we are going there mm, we are indians bro <laughs> it's like that so we don't uh, ragging is actually good uh, ragging is very healthy uh, until it doesn't cross the limit so only because of ragging we got communication with seniors otherwise we won't <laughs> it is good like it will be very healthy because we have a bond with an indians okay and like uh, if you had to comment about the clinical exposure in russia what would you have to say uh clinical exposure is really good people think that uh, they they don't have any clinical exposure but it's completely wrong because uh, from the first year onwards in the first week they took me to the hospital and then we had a hospital class how to dress and in first year we are not going to inject the people or we are going to do anything like they just want to tell us how to treat a patient even for feeding it's it's all done by nurse but we have to know it right so how to feed a patient how to check the bp so all these things will be taught in the first year itself and in the end of the first year we'll be having kind of internship so internship is not at the end uh, end of all six years it is done in between in between of every year every year two months two months we have to complete our internships okay and 
like what are the various extracurricular activities available at your college so a lot of extracurricular activities are available uh, we have swimming pool uh, we have they actually motivate they don't uh, teach like if they want to teach if they want to coach us they have to start a russian singing class russian dancing class and all um, they have that also but we don't prefer that right so they motivate our own dances our singing and all those things and then uh, we have lot of sports cricket and all but the thing is like even in the school while we are in our 9 10th 11th 12th what happens like science or uh, math teacher used to borrow the period same happens here so uh, anatomy teacher will come okay fine you have a uh, sports next period okay then that is also anatomy <laughs> sit you have to study now <laughs> then you used to study or else uh, we don't have time also like we we have periods sometime if we are free we can go or else we have lot of works like uh, morning 9 class starts and uh, evening uh, 6:30 till 6:30 the class will be there and before it is getting very cold we have to run to home uh, like run to hostel and we have to cook we have to clean we have to go put laundry there are lot of jobs right so if we find the time we will go for everything okay quite a like happening life you see it is it happening uh, we learn lot of things Yeah, yeah, definitely. Individuality. Definitely, and like I won't uh, trouble you more with uh, more questions in this session. So, last one question would be that: What advice would you like to give all the students who would be listening to this video till here, like about studying abroad? Okay, so for all the students, uh, what I want to say is like one of my advice could be: Don't trust anyone. You you are not trusting some X Y Z or some agencies to go study there. you have to trust yourself and you have to go because you have to fight no one will come if you are trusting some uh, your uh, relations are studying there so you are going he won't mind at all <laughs> so he'll be doing his work he don't even care about you no one care about anyone they just uh, use people it's not i can't say people use people like they like if someone is communicating with us they are in need so my uh, my thing is like if they if someone is saying hi i just like yes tell me what you want so that's the thing because uh, i cro- i came across a lot of people so trust your, your you and uh, don't trust anyone but keep loving everyone don't spread hatreds okay so some golden words by your responsible senior and i'll bring this uh, session to an end thank you uh, niranjani it was great having you uh, thank you once again thank you thank you so much